Hi there, today I'm going to show you around the Icon Air Flight Crush Helmet. Uh, this is it, this is the Icon Air Flight Fader in black and, and white, there's also white and orange uh, and like most helmets in the uh, Icon range there's some pretty way out graphics colour schemes in there so you'll be able to see some of those uh, dotted up and down the full review on the website um, and you can always click through to our recommended retails to see any later designs and deals that are out there uh, on the on the air flight. So this helmet is a polycarbonate shell, so that's essentially uh, an injected plastic, uh, which makes a really durable uh, and and uh, helmets that absorb a lot of shock very well. Some of the best helmets are polycarbonate. Uh, you do get a lot <coughs> a lot more advanced materials used, such as carbon fibre, Kevlar fiberglass, composite and various composites, but polycarbonate helmets are really good and they're, because they're so easy to make shells out of, they tend to be the cheaper end of the, uh, the helmet range. Um, this air, this air flight is a good all-rounder helmet. Um, it's good for a commute or going out for a Sunday blast with your mates, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of riding styles, a lot of bike styles. The only thing I would say is that uh, <coughs> being an all-rounder, it's probably not the best for a sports bike. Uh, sports bikes, you tend to ride with your head in more of a tuck uh, and because of that you need a really tight uh, visor opening. Um, if, you, if you did that, if you got your head on the tank or on the track, you'd probably find that the top of the visor opening is in your line of sight, so that's not ideal. Um, but for every other kind of bike, this would be a good helmet. Um, so, what does it do? Well, out, out, pretty outrageous graphics for a lot of them because it's an icon. Um, but also, they all try, always try and do something a little bit different with the design, and in this case, it's the visor. As you can see, it's a really deep visor uh, with this grill on the bottom here, which uh, which um, coordinates with the the grill and the chin the chin vent here. So, obviously, it's quite a, a motocross inspired chin vent, nice and big. Uh, should let a lot of air through. Uh, in fact, it does let a lot of air through because I've ridden in it, and it's. Uh, brings a lot around your mouth and a lot onto the back of the visor. Um, but when the visor's closed, you can see this grid uh, will will correspond to the to the chin vent and so you get a lot of vent coming through still. Um, now that chin vent can be opened and closed. It doesn't look like it on the outside, but it's actually on the inside here where you can open and close. It's a three position slider. Uh, you see on quite a few AGVs actually. So you can either have it closed or you can have it open breathe bringing uh, air around your mouth and your chin, or you can have it, so it pushes it onto the back of that visor. So that's <coughs> pretty good. Um, that visor itself, when it's fully down, you can lock it in position. This is a really nice feature, actually. Lock it in position by just clicking it in there and the visor's locked. Uh, probably one of the best visor locking mechanisms that I've seen around, to be honest. Dead easy to use, especially when you try and open it, because all you do to do is put your thumb under there, and it unlocks and you open the visor. Really nice. Um, so it's, a, it's useful, it doesn't just look a bit, a bit interesting, a bit cool, but actually it works practically too. <coughs> now that visor um, is, you actually get a, uh, a, a, a tinted visor in the box too, and it's really easy to, uh, to change out. Um, you've got side pods on here. All you need to do, get your fingers underneath, prise it off, Prise it until it feels like it's going to break, then prise it a bit more and they pop off. And all you need to do to change the visor is lift the visor up and you'll find that the, spring off, the visor springs off. And all you know, obviously just stick in the other visor, put the visor down, put the side pods on and it's job done. So it, that's really quick actually. So it's a dead innovative and, uh, and uh, user friendly visor, quick change mechanism there, I like that. Um, <coughs> that's some, that, uh, that um, visor, you can, you'll can you notice it's not got a pin lock pins on the side there um, and it comes actually with a factory coating, anti-fog coating and I think they must be getting better because the anti-fog coating on this one seemed to be really useful. Um, I rode it in pretty cold weather, didn't get any fogging whatsoever so I was surprised at that so well done Icon for that. Whether it lasts or not I'm not sure, you know if you wash your visor inside and out it may wash off a bit but only time will tell. Um, so that's the main visor itself. Uh, you've, all, you've also got a, a drop down sun visor with this. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a slider there. And if I open, if I open it up, slide it up, and there's the sun visor. 
Uh, it's pretty easy to use and it's easy to find. It's my preferred position for a sun visor slider, to be honest, rather than fiddling around on the top of your head and getting started opening vents by accident. Having it just down to the side, either there or on the uh, on the bottom here, probably the two best places for your, your chin visor uh, slider. And the chin visor, itself, the sun visor itself, is uh, it's not anti-fog, they rarely are. So if it's cold, that will fog up. But it's uh, it's it comes down nice and low, and it's tinted enough to. Uh, it's not really dark. They usually don't go massively dark, and some people do complain about those. But it's dark enough to stop you getting dazzled by the sun, the low sun, and uh, to make riding a pleasure when it's sunny. Um, they're not really allowed to be too dark for obvious reasons. They don't want to obscure your vision too much. Um, so that's the sun visor. Um, what else we've got? It's quite a nice uh, aero shape. You've got uh, two top vents as well. A um, bit like an a again like an AGV. You sometimes see those. You do get the hang of them. They're both independently operated, so open and closed. And the way that you open those, generally you get thumb and finger and just shove them up, and you get the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, with the sun, the sun visors actually behind there, obviously when it's in the up position, and you don't usually get uh, people having vents there when you've got a, a sun visor up here. So they've done a good job. The air will come in there, route past the sun visor and into channels cut, cut inside. Um, this, the channels run from front to back, so and you can feel the air going over the top of your head, and they vent out the exhaust here. So it's not really all over venting. But it's through there and it's enough to keep your head cool. I did find you, you could feel it and it, it, it did seem pretty okay. Um, obviously on the reviews that we do we wait to hear what uh, lots of owners think of it uh, and that goes into the review so I wait to hear before we get a, a definitive answer on how good the ventilation is but so far so good it seems pretty good. Um, inside um, this is a size large, I'm a size large, it was absolutely bang on for me. Um, Bit of a birthing experience getting your head through there. It was very tight, but once it was in, it was nice and solid, fitted well. Um, it's a medium oval fitment, uh, which is most right for most peoples in the in the Western Europe. You know, you've, if you've got a very round head, then you might struggle. Um, but if you've got a, a longer and less wide head, it should fit you okay. Um, as always, if you're buying a helmet online, make sure you buy from a, a retailer who will give you no trouble uh, returns. Um, like the recommended retailers we uh, put links through uh, so if it's not quite right you can get it sent get it, get it replaced easily um, Icon do offer fatter and thinner cheap pads for this so if you feel it's not quite right you might want to just get in touch with the retailer and get them to uh, send you some replacements in there just to tailor the fit a little bit more um, <coughs> inside it you've got a fully removable and washable lining um, it's, it's got Icon, you have a material called Hydro Dry. It's like most manufacturers have at the moment, really. Um, the moisture wicking, breathable. Um, I'm not sure if this one's antimicrobial, most of them seem to be. But it's a very comfortable place to put your head and it seems to keep you, you uh, dry and um, uh, for, for you know, a good few hours in the saddle. I didn't have any problems with it at all. Very nice place to be. Um, you've got a double D ring fastener on there. Good and safe. Just make sure that you tighten them up every time. Um, helmets can come off. It's not that common, but it's not that rare either. So just make sure that every trip, get it nice and tight. Don't be tempted to just have it hanging loose. Um, and of course, on the bottom here, you've got a cutaway, which is good for if you've got a, a suit on with a big collar or a hump, that'll stop it uh, pushing your helmet down, uh, forward and down, and just, just be that bit more comfortable. So there we have it, that's the Icon uh, Air, um, Air Flight helmet. This one I say is the Fader. Um, you'll see all the different designs on the website. Um, my first impressions are it was a, gr a great helmet. I really enjoyed wearing it, very comfortable. Um, not sure about helmet noise at the moment. I always wear a good pair of earplugs, as I'm sure most of you do, so it was fine. Um, but again, once uh, once the jury's in on how quiet it is, we'll, uh, we'll add that to the review. Um, and if you want to see the latest deals, latest designs, because there are always more designs and graphics coming out, click through from the links on the uh, on the on the, the review on the website, uh, and you should be able to see those there uh, from from highly rated dealers that uh, we recommend that you buy from. Usually, usually good price, but most of all, good service and good returns processes, that kind of stuff. Um, so, Icon Air Flight uh, helmet.
good all-rounder.